Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, got a very interesting uh, asshole consultant request. This comes from Don, and young Don, Don writes. Hey there, asshole. I know this is pretty damn lengthy, but I couldn't shorten it without leaving out important details. The video would be great. I'm sure there are others out there in my situation who could benefit from your advice. Ah, uh, no, dude. Your situation is pretty fucking unique. <laughs> a little about my story. I, I'm a high, I'm a 16-year-old student at a somewhat elitist Jesuit school, uh, college preparatory high school in New York City. At the age of 12, I became obsessed with making money online. Last year, one of my ventures hit it big. At one point, I was doing $1,000 a day in sales. I took home about 400 at the end of the day. That's awesome. And employed uh, four people part-time, mostly family who needed money. All the while, I was attending a rigorous school, going to wrestling practice for three hours a day and commuting two hours each way. Honest to God. <clears throat> my business was selling likes and followers to small businesses on Instagram, Things got shaky with my shady advertising methods. I had to switch to an expensive host in Russia who I had to pay in Bitcoin, and my Indian suppliers were unreliable to say the least. Long story short, I didn't have the time to properly manage everything. This was costly. I did $30,000 in sales over a period of a couple months. I paid employees way too much, and I could have scaled that $30,000 to $300,000 with just a little bit of planning if I had the time. Funny story you'll enjoy, I was taking business calls in the school bathroom one day, I got caught, at the end of the day I was negotiating how much I paid my teacher, I, how much I'd pay my teacher's wife for employment. I saw the whole thing is more troubling than profitable and shut it down. Since then I've started two more ventures, one surprisingly didn't pull in much money, and the other is still in the beginning stages and is yet to officially launch. It's very ambitious and to be honest it scares me a bit. I have a 94 average, top 4% of my class of 300, and study Arabic. I have the potential to go to an Ivy League school if I choose so, but I think it's rather foolish to take 200000 in student loans. I don't like borrowing money. Good. At the end of the day, about 6000 sits in my bank account. So you at 16 have more saved up than the average American adult. And you go to school. <laughs> I'm currently pursuing my next venture. I plan to launch in September after I recharge this summer. I'm somewhat hesitant to go forward with this, though, because of time constraints. This venture is outside of my comfort zone. I'm scared to go through with it and, ha and handle such large payments. This is exactly why I must go through with it. I know if it'll fail, though, if I don't, I don't know if it will fail. I think you wrote wrong. If I don't put in the, oh, I know it will fail, though, if I don't put the time it truly needs. I'll be taking three AP classes next year along with Arabic 2, calculus, etc. On top of that, <clears throat> There's the SATs, ACTs, college essays, and a ton of other bullshit I have to get to. Time is bound to be a very limited resource, especially if I want to maintain a social life. I see three roads ahead of me. I could put my business on the back burner and focus on school. I could follow my father's footsteps, go to Georgetown School of Foreign Service, major in national. Yeah. Option two, think about going to college in Milan, a top five business school in Europe. Or Utah, my plan would be to this and that, that and this. And my third option, oh wait, and then he inherits a house in Italy. The third option is inspired by James Alt, Altucher, Alt, Altschuler, oh, whatever. Choose yourself, I heard of him. I uh, go to Italy, fuck around, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's the deal. Kid, fuck your three options right now. You got enough on your goddamn plate. Wait till you get to that crossroads when you get there, okay? You're 16, that makes you a sophomore now. Yeah, you're a sophomore going to be a junior your next year. Right? And I don't know what you... You're right. Time is a constraint because what are you? You go to wrestling practice for three hours a day and then you commute two hours each way? Dude, only 24 fucking hours in a day. Four at minimum which have to be sleep. And I did that for three and a half years and it, it wrecks your health. Right? Um, unless... Do get rid of the wrestling. Let's get rid of it. Sorry, I know that's your fun thing. I know maybe that's what you like to do. Unless you're going to go to nationals or some big fucking thing and you can get yourself a scholarship through it, fuck wrestling, okay? It's fun. I, I know, I hate to say it. It'd be like telling somebody to give up video games or telling me to give up motorcycling. But if you want to, you need to focus here, dude. And the truth is about high school sports, it doesn't fucking matter, right? It may be fun. You can always go back to intramural wrestling once you graduate from high school, maybe you're practicing in college, all right? But right now, that and your two-hour commute... Holy shit! 
<clears throat> can you move closer? Will your parents give you a stipend so you can rent a place a little bit closer? I'm serious. That time is, in most people's case, time is not money. Time is just, all oh, time they would have spent pissing away watching Oprah or Maury Povich or fucking TV reality show. You, you're a hustler. You got it. You're moving. You're shaking. All right? Time for you is money. So here I took some notes. And here's it. The goal in life is to spend time with family and friends and loved ones having fun. That is the goal in life. It is not to become rich, although that helps because it frees up a lot of time. It is not to become an investment banker. It's not to have a powerful career. It's not to have an exciting career. The goal in life is leisure time with friends and loved ones. Now, of course, there's an intellectual capacity uh, component to it as well. You may want to have a career for intellectually rewarding things. But the goal in life is other people that you love and cherish and to spend time with them and have fun with them. That's the goal. To that end, most people get careers and jobs. And the goal of the career and the job is not a goal unto itself, no matter what feminists might tell the millions of women that actually have now been fooled into thinking that work is its own reward. <laughs> that work is fun. So the goal, the dream, the true American dream was to make it rich as your own self-employed person. This doesn't mean you don't work. This doesn't mean it isn't your passion. But it means you don't answer me, motherfucker, and you do what you want the way you want it done. And I'm sorry, dude, at the age of 12, you're trying to run online businesses and 16, you're hustling and shaking. Maybe you didn't make money. Maybe it blew up in your face. But man, you are a fucking entrepreneur more than anyone I've ever seen. And you're this close. You need a little bit of polish. You need a little bit of wisdom. Uh, but dude, you are through and through an entrepreneur. And um, that is great because that makes college completely unnecessary. If you can supply, I had another client. <clears throat> he was this kid. He started a landscaping, lawn cutting business, you know, trimming trees and hedges and shit like that. And he was bringing in, by the time he was a senior, he was still going to school, but by the time he was he had other people doing it. By the time he was a senior, I think he was making 40 grand a year. Then he went to college. He, he got a reading on it. I think he sold it. I think he sold the equipment. He didn't even sell the company or his, his blacklist of, uh, of, of customers. He sold it, went to college, and then you know, he's working like at $12 an hour. And he's like, what the fuck? You almost have what he has. You're that close to it. Maybe even make him more. And, and you got to stop thinking about like, well, college, it's the college experience. I got to go to college. All my, my peer groups are going to college. Fuck your peer groups. The purpose of college is so you make more money per hour. It's not the college experience. It's not for you to be well-rounded. It's none of that fucking bullshit. It's to make fucking money so that you can go and live your life. So you don't have to worry about putting food, clothing, and shelter on the table. So you can spend time with your children, your wife, your loved ones, your friends, your family, whatever. Visit your mom. Say hello to her. Buy her flowers. <clears throat> She'll be very happy and proud of you. Go fishing with dad, right? And if you can, if you're so close, if you're so close to the American dream, and if you can pull it off, you're going to have a much better life than everybody else. You can still go party in your 20s. You can still go party like you're in college. Just go to house parties. You don't have to piss away eight hours a day going to a class and this is some idiot who doesn't know what they're talking about. Four hours a night studying, not going out partying, and then like pissing away Lord knows how much money and debting yourself, as you mentioned, $200,000 to go to an Ivy League school. So even though it is risky, you're young enough that you can afford the risk. And I would recommend you change your life, change your schedule, that you pursue this entrepreneurial adventure. And then I recommend you have a plan B and a plan C because I know I have tried probably around the neighborhood of 12 to 15 different type of businesses, only of which four were really profitable. Right? But you don't need a lot. You just need one to be profitable. And I think, I think you're close to it. <clears throat> now, all that being said, you cannot just say, yeah, fuck school, I'm gonna fuck college, and I'm going to go and do this thing. You're going to have to do a little bit of both. And, and what I would recommend, because you're telling me about how much you commute, you're wrestling, and then all these AP classes, what I would recommend doing is scaling back on the school and not taking classes that you don't need to get into. In other words, do what you need to do. Take whatever classes you need to take to get into college. A good one. But don't go overboard. Like Arabic? No, fuck Arabic. You're not taking Arabic too. Go get yourself a copy 
of uh, Rosetta Stone and don't waste yourself an hour every day. That's five hours a week in class. Lord knows another five studying. That's 10 hours a week wasted in a class. Don't take that class. Do not take that class. Go learn yourself Arabic and Rosetta Stone. Set Arabic aside for now and pursue your, your business ideas. You can always study Arabic later. You can always reteach it to yourself later on for free. Um, so take that. Calculus, yeah, maybe. I think that'd be, but you know, maybe you don't need calculus to get into college. And, and you know, the truth about a lot of these colleges, they're, they're allowing in such idiotic dipshits. They give you remedial math. So, I mean, if you're, if you're cool with your trig, you're on top of, uh, when even AP, a lot of these colleges, they don't even give you credit. They like allow you to pass it and go to Calc 2, but you still have to pay for it. So you might as well, if you got to pay for it, you might as well wait. And just pay for Calc 1 over in college if you got to take it. So I would see <clears throat> what classes you can get rid of and you don't need that you can still get into college. Get rid of your wrestling. Find a way to get rid of that goddamn two-hour commute. Or try to do some kind of work on the internet. Get a satellite connector, something. <clears throat> so you can do work on your laptop from the subway or whatever you do take into school. And then you put that in your business. You find out how much time you need to put into your business and you do it. Now, if, you, if there's not enough time in the day to do both enough of your high school to get into college uh, and your SATs and all that and run this business profitably, okay, knock out high school first. Take your AP, get your calculus, get your SAT, score very high, make everybody very proud. Uh, and then that summer before, you know, certainly sign up for college, but that summer you dedicate your time to run that business. And then when you apply to college and you get into college, Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice and easy does it. No rush. Let's say you graduate in four years. You'll be 22. There ain't going to be no fucking jobs for you. Don't worry about it. Especially if you're majoring in business. Don't worry. <clears throat> you're not missing out. No one's going to take a 22-year-old seriously. So you take your time. You do it like my buddy Tom Hudson did. He took eight years to graduate from uh, college. Now it's fine because there weren't no jobs when I graduated. <laughs> he had more fun. He got laid more. He gets more girls, all right? He, he had a grand old time. You go to college part-time. You do what's necessary. You're slowly making your way towards your degree. But you put that time and money, your real effort, into your business. And then if you want, that doesn't work, you, you get a plan B, but it's something. You got something. You got something that most people don't. You know something that a lot of people don't know how to make money on the Internet. And you need to capitalize on that. Now, there are two things, uh, caveats. There are requirements that you need to adhere to before you go and you run this next greatest scam of yours, scam business. One, make sure it's a legal business thing, you know, uh, I don't know what you're doing with the Russians and the Indians and uh, how you got kicked out and you had some shady business. Right, that, that ends. You need to make this legal. So you got to set up an LLC. You got to go do it on the up and up. You get yourself a bank account. No fucking around. Because if you do make money, there's guys called the IRS. And I, I have a feeling you're not really calculating or forecasting that you're more of a business man, entrepreneur. You, there's some details you need to figure out. So you do it right. Maybe your dad can help you with that. Uh, the other thing, do a business that will not bankrupt you. Okay, I think you kind of already intuitively know this, even though you don't know maybe what I'm talking about. But you don't borrow money to start this business. Not a lot anyway. Uh, so if this business goes belly up and it doesn't work, you're not stuck with a $30,000 loan where Guido and, and, and Vladimir are coming to beat it out of you because <clears throat> you made some kind of shady deal with the Russians. Uh, so do that. And then also what I'd recommend, you could maybe, this would be a twofer. This will kind of kill two birds with one stone. While you're in high school, there's got to be an accounting class. You might want to learn accounting. Now you could take it in high school. I would, again, prefer not, you don't take it. Take your time off. Teach it to yourself on the internet. Go online, YouTube. I got a great class uh, called the Analysis Evaluation of Stocks, the first half of which is just accounting. And I hate to brag, but it's some of the best accounting teachings out there. It's, it's scripted very well, <coughs> very logic, very efficiently. Uh, but you do need to take a little bit of accounting and get some kind of business skills so you do your business right. Uh, and so that's that's what I would recommend. All right. Now, you are a sophomore, so that means you've got two years before you're off to college. All right. When that point in time comes, you graduate from high school, you could start reevaluate where you are at this point in time with your business in high school. Okay. And then you can worry about your three options. Right now, your three options, I'm not even worried about those. That, 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 you, you, you revisit those later. All right? But right now, 
you got some hard thinking to do and you need to maybe get a, a Gantt chart or something, a Microsoft Project Manager or whatever. Don't do it. I'm joking. You got to find out if you got enough time to do both, high school and your business idea. I would recommend the business idea, but the problem is if you focus too much on that, you're going to sacrifice high school, which may not allow you to get into college, which eliminates a very good plan B. So you're going to have to do both. You're going to have to burn the candle at both ends. And that, I'm sorry, you just have to get rid of that wrestling. Terribly sorry. Just That's going to have to go away. And you can always do that later in college. You can always do that later. Anyway, <clears throat> pursue that business. See if you can make it work. And if it works, you don't have to go to college. You've made your money. <laughs> you're employing your teacher's wife and your family members. Dude, if there's a guy that shouldn't go to college, it'd be probably you. Okay? I'm not saying don't. I mean, if everything else fails, fine. Then go go to college. But right now... No, nah, man, skip it. You're not missing jack shit. You're not, it's a pain in the ass. And good thing you did buy that book worth it. I think that will help you. Um, but yeah, you, you got some, oh, finally, I forgot, didn't miss it. Test your IQ. Very important that you test your IQ. Nothing fancy. Don't, don't study it like you do your SATs or ACTs. Go online, queendom.com, take it quick. It's not going to be terribly accurate, but it'll at least give you a ballpark figure. And if you're that freakishly high IQ, like 140, 150, yeah, um, you got to realize you're not going to operate normally in the real world. But something tells me you already know that, and that's a good thing. So don't think you have to go to college like everybody else in the real world. Best of luck. I don't think you're going to need it. Toodles.